Hi folks, in a previous video we did an unboxing of Deck Maniacs, which is the new Loot Crate style subscription service for Magic the Gathering and Pokemon. Within this box there are nine booster packs. So I didn't want to bog down the main video with unwrapping booster packs because you might not be interested in that and just want to know what's in Deck Maniacs. So instead I've done a separate video which just went through unwrapping and unveiling what cards we got in those booster packs. So without further ado, let's have a look. Okay, so these are the nine booster packs we got inside the um, Deck Maniacs Loot Crate. Or Deck Crate. I can't say Loot Crate, can we? So let's open them up and see what we've got inside. So I'm going to go for all these and give you a quick scan over the um, contents. Let's, let's see if we've hit gold or whether we've just got a series of uh, pretty standard commons. So, we have got a Silent Skimmer, a Corel Guide, Dutiful Return, a McKinley Patrol, Eldrazi Sky Spawner. Well, I like the artwork on that one. Let's just move that there. Alter's Reap. Goblin War Paint. Oh, there's always Goblin War Paint. I think I played Magic about 10 years ago and there was Goblin War Paint. Unnatural Aggression. Devoid this colour. colour. Plummet. A Touch the Void. A Coastal Discovery. And then we start to get the uncommons now. So we have a Scythe Leopard, a Breaker of Armies, a Blight Herder, and then of course we've got a, um, a token card and, and a land, which is a new style land. So we've got a Blight Herder. Let's just uh, put our rares to one point over there. In fact, I might. Uh, Pack number two. If I can get into these. Again, we won't go through all the commons, we'll quickly whiz through these because uh, otherwise it might take a while. Reclaiming Vines, a Stone Fury, Earth and Arms, a Rock Shambler, another Breaker of Armies. A Marusi Ranger, or Marusa Ranger, and a Cinder Glade, and uh, oh, we've got a nice, uh, a nice foil land there. I don't know why, but I'm always a sucker for foils. This is pack number Bone Splinters, a Salvage Drone, another McKinney Patrol, a Sludge Crawler, Fortified Rampart, a Valakut Predator, Snapping, and I assume it's Silent G, so it's a Snapping Gnarlid, Gnarlid, oh, I'm going to get it wrong, Sure Strike, an Eldrazi Devastator, Encircling Fisher, Retreat to Korahelm, Undo Rising, March from the Tomb, and then the foil we've got in this one is a common, unfortunately. A stalwart. Now, I don't think we've got a foil in that first box. That's a bit disappointing. No, we didn't. Oh well. Didn't seem to get a foil in that one. So, uh, let's see what else I got. These are all from the Battle for Zendikar range. Let's have a look at what else we've got. So, Wavewing Elemental, Ghostly Sentinel, Skyland, Skyline Cascade. Oh, it's a land, a special land. We always like special lands. Calastria Nightwatch, Incubator Drone, 
Tandem Tactics, Natural Connection, Stone Fury, Seek the Wilds, a Lava Step Raider, a Rot Shambler, a Retreat to Kazunda, an Akim Stonewalker, Radiant Flames, and no foils in that one. Ah, so we're not guaranteed a foil in every one. It's a bit of a shame, but can't complain, can we? Foils a foil. So, Sandstone Bridge, Complete dis Disregard, Inspired Charge, Looming Spires, Grave Birthing, Seek the Wild, Malakrit Invoker, Blood Hunter Worm, Blister Pod, Horribly Awry. I like the sound of that one. <laughs> this card is a color count target creature spell with converted mana cost four or less. That spell is counted this way. Excellent. Instead of putting it into the owner's graveyard. Ooh, has got Horribly Awry. Drana's Emissary, Core Entanglers, and another Righteous Path. We actually have two Righteous Paths at this point. And our foil is for a Slab Hammer. Which is quite a nice card. Okay, we're over halfway through. No sign of uh, the really expensive cards yet. But let's see what else we've got. So we've got a Dominator Drone, Core Castigator, Scaling Cascade again, Tightening Coils. I do like, like some of the artwork for this. It's a bit grim, but I do like it. Uh, Voracious Null, Ghostly Sentinel again. Boiling Earth, Scour from Existence. Ah, that's a nice picture, that one. Valakut Invoker, Natural Connection, a Royal Sprout, Core Entanglers again, High Grass Sharpshooter, and Conduit of Ruin. That's a 5 5 monster. Again, no foil, but that's quite nice. Looming Spires again, Aldrazi Sky Spawner, Grave Birthing, Dispel, you always got to have a Dispel in there, Felida Cub, Miles Malice, Volcanic Upheaval, Giant Mantis, Valakut Predator, Blister Pod, Blighted Cataract, Stasis Snare, Pilgrim's Eye, and then, oh, hello. Ak Elm Firebird. That looks like it might be. See, we've got a, we've got a red there. We may have struck gold, as they say. Let me just have a look at the side. I've got a. I've actually got the Magic Madhouse op website open at the same time, just to uh, check some of the prices. I'm sure you want to see a man look up things on the internet. So again, we'll quickly whiz through these, otherwise uh, you're starting to see a bit of repetition now. Uh, really impressive. Again, I really like the artwork on some of these cards. I really like the art, the style of them. Seek the Wild again. Bane of Balaged. Ooh. Retreat to Emeria. Blighted Woodland. And then we have a Sunken Hollow as our rare on this one. So, this is the last booster pack of the Set Maniacs box for the month. What do we have here? Again, we'll, uh, you can start to see again, these are starting to uh, repeat themselves. It's quite a nice flyer. Mist Intruder, Evolving Wilds, Territorial Baloth, Touch the Void, Call the Scions. And then we have a Dust Stalker as our rare card. And we have a Shiny Foil Swamp. And of course, a token card, because of course we get a uh, token card in all of these. And I'm just going to knock these over, so let's just gently push them out of the way and hope they don't spill everywhere. Which they have done, so I'm going to ignore them. So, the question is, what have we got? And what is... Now, bear in mind this was a... £30 box and it already came with one rare as a set aside so it already came with and it's been sleeved so a shambling vent 
So, the epic rare amongst these is the Akum Firebird. So, these are just the rares that came out of these nine decks. These nine packs, sorry. Um, so, you, you get one rare with each one. And I'm, I don't know this is new to me, but you also get a nice little uh, hologram on the, the rares now. I've put these into a um, website where you can buy Magic the Gathering cards on their own, a single website. And just these cards alone, if you were to buy them, would come to £32 at current prices. Now that fluctuates. Um, the most valuable being in this card, the Sunken Hollow, which currently retails for £7, no sorry, £8 for that card alone. Now, you can't judge the value of the Deck Maniacs box from what you get out of the rares because the rares are going to be different each time you open a pack, the chances are. But with nine boosters, you know, you're going to get quite a good spread. To be fair, if I then went and flipped just these cards, I'd be in profit. I, would, uh, I wouldn't have actually spent any money in the end. Now, it should be pointed out that Deck Maniacs did provide this booster box to me as a review copy, so of course I haven't paid for these. But it gives you a good idea of the value of what's in the box compared to the value which you pay. And agreeing with the review I wrote previously, I think this shows that there's actually really good value in these Deck Maniacs boxes. So as I said, if you want to check out the unboxing of the Deck Maniacs box itself, go check out the other video, which hopefully should be linked in one of these corners. See you again.